The purpose of this portion of this demonstration is to show how smart plant construction can be used to uh, support the construction work packaging process from a validation of the sequence and the installation path itself. Uh, whenever we can access a three-dimensional model, you can actually, over time, we've got a series of packages, and you can specify the timeline that you'd like to animate uh, within the model itself. So I'm going to enable my, my work package animation uh, interface here, and I'm going to undock this and move it over because we're going to focus in on a particular area here in the model. Now I can pick my interval of animation. What I'll do is, since I know these packages are planned in a certain time frame, I'll pick from September uh, the 2nd and, and we'll run the animation out uh, to the 1st of November of uh, 2013. So I'll, I'll select that. I can also select how often, how quickly I want to update the screen and how many days I want to jump through the schedule and actually animate. I can also pick the colors that I wish to animate. In this case I'll have plan start to be orange and plan finish to actually be uh, red. We're not going to do actuals right now because we're actually doing a planned uh, analysis on our planned uh, work package installation. So I can go ahead and play this and, and uh, show you how it works within smart plant construction. So what this will do is you can see it shows the, the piping spools being planned uh, and then being uh, planned to finish in a certain date. You can see the dates at the top here. Now you see the structural steel coming in after the spool and the piece of equipment coming in after the spool. So this is an obvious problem. So we need to correct that problem. So what we can do is we can actually access the particular package uh, that, that contains the spool. And that's what I'll do here. I'll go to this particular package and I'll go to the scheduling date and now I'm going to reschedule that to fit more appropriately uh, the timeline. I could either move the structural installation and equipment installation back or I can move the, the, the installation of the spools themselves back. So what I'm going to choose to do here is to, to accommodate the equipment setting and the structural uh, steel that's being placed in concrete. So what I'm going to do is, is move this particular package out uh, to, uh, to, to the November time frame. So what I'll do is have that start up in uh, the 4th of November now and then uh, have that completed uh, in late November. So now I can save that off uh, to the system. And now whenever I replay the actual animation, now the results of my modifications to the work packages. Uh, no longer will the spool come in on the 2nd of September, but rather I've scheduled that later, uh, actual after my planned and uh, start date and finish date for my structural steel, which is a critical portion of this, and the equipment itself. So you can see now I've resequenced the packages to accommodate, in fact, uh, uh, a real-world installation of the piping spool. So you can see now that the, the spool comes in uh, at the appropriate time from a planned start and planned finish date. So a pretty straightforward uh, interface uh, to allow you to uh, sequence your packages over time, to adjust those sequences, and to make sure you've got uh, a realistic uh, uh, sequence for the, the work packages themselves. Now in addition to that, uh, you can also sequence within the uh, work packages themselves, the components. So what I'm going to do is access this particular uh, work package and show you how you can sequence the components and control the path uh, of those components within Smart Plant Review. So what I've done here is access that particular package and what I'm going to do is say show that in Smart Plant Review. And when I show that in Smart Plant Review then I can control the paths themselves uh, and the sequence of those uh, and, and have that reflected back into Smart Plant Construction. So I'm over in Smart Plant Review now. I'll bring up my sequencer in Smart Plant Review and I'll go ahead and play that installation sequence in Smart Plant Review. So you can see the piping spools coming in in the various segments, but you can see a problem there. We've got a valve that has came in now without the spool being there to attach the to the actual the valve itself. So I can come over and adjust that real time within the actual sequencer itself. So I can grab 
uh, spool to and I can come back and drag that into the appropriate position and then adjust my downstream components associated with that uh, particular sprue and then replay that uh, in a correct sequence. And you can see the pass associated with that. So I can see the spool coming in now. I can see appropriately my second spool coming in and then my valves coming in ac accordingly. So I can adjust that accordingly within the sequencer here itself and have that uh, represented uh, within the three-dimensional model. Now once I do that, I can immediately send that sequence back to Smart Plant Construction. So now I can do a send sequence. It's going to make me ask me, do I want to confirm to allow that sequence to actually be changed in Smart Plant Construction? And I'm going to allow that sequence. And I'm going to go ahead and say yes to that. And what that's going to result in is the actual item being resequenced here within the, the field installation work packages based on how I animated the packages and sequenced those here within Smart Plant Review. So a pretty straightforward interface. You can synchronize uh, your actual packages in a path and, and sequence those in a path, but you can also sequence the components uh, within the actual packages in the self and have that reflected back in Smart Plant Construction.